Hey everybody, it's your old friend Rob Hildebrand here from the majestic Chateau de la Griffre. Leslie's working on some stuff, but we wanted to get you out a quick update on February and some of the things that have been happening. Boy, we are back in the United States. It is beautiful to be back in Oregon, uh, seeing the beach. I'm teaching at Multnomah. Here's some of our students. Uh, we love them watching the games, uh, sitting in class, talking with them. And uh, it's been great to be back, but we miss the Chateau terribly. Uh, these days, all we've been able to see of the Chateau, honestly, has been through the security cameras. We do have folks checking on it, but uh, it is nice to at least look at the cameras and look at the old suit of armor and, you know, what the weather's like. That's been fun. Boy, sometimes, though, it's kind of crazy. Uh, take a look at what we saw the other day. Uh, this. What, what do you think this is? I'm looking at it. I'm like, ah, you get a notification in the middle of the night. Is it? Is it a bird? Uh, is it some kind of animal in the Chateau? A mouse? Is it a human? Looks like a hand. I don't know. It'll be good to be back. And good news, we're going back. I think it's days until we're going to kick off season four and start. We're really excited. We have 25, 26 people coming to stay with us for May and June. And we have a couple months before that to finish the London bathroom and put in those new rooms downstairs and another bathroom. So we'll be working hard, making lots of videos and very exciting. Okay, first and foremost, huge news about the roof. Um, as you guys know, if you've been watching our videos, our roof is 100 years old and it leaks everywhere. And when you buy a chateau, you know that you're going to have to work on the roof. And we thought this is something that would take us mm, a decade to get to because it's so expensive and we're not like super rich folks. But um, we've just had the best couple months. Now, we did a video and we said, hey, if anybody wants to help, you know, we put it out there. And my goodness, we had 62 folks send like a little donation or say, hey, we want to support you guys. Another 40 Patreons, that's 100 people. And, and a lot of those gifts uh, were, you know, $10, $20, $50, and, and that's awesome. And basically the people are saying, look, we want to help you out. We believe what you're in what you're doing and uh, we want to come with you guys. And honestly, most, most of those are not even folks that we know very well. So, so encouraging. We've also had a couple of bigger gifts, and these are mostly from folks that have known us for decades, and, and so they know who we are, and, and they believe in us and all of that. And, and some have been even like a thousand or more. Uh, and and uh, in fact, we've had a couple really big gifts, and, and folks have said, you know, we want to get this roof fixed. And partly, I think it's they want to help the chateau and preserve the chateau, but a, a, a big part of it, honestly, is, is they want to help the kids too. And so that's been huge. We have almost raised enough for the entire project. Like we're, we're within a few thousands. It's, it's incredible. You guys, we never saw that coming. Uh, you know, we started this thing and we thought we were going to do it alone, but, um, it has been so encouraging. So good news. We sent off our first payment, uh, to the uh, roofing company and they are buying the materials. They're going to start in June, you know, wrap that whole chateau and, uh, should be done maybe by August, maybe by September. Incredible, incredible. It's going to help us so much going forward. So a huge thank you to everybody. Uh, for your encouragement and support. So we also wanted to tell you a little bit about our story the last couple months. Uh, as you may have remembered, our last video, we were in Canada visiting family. Super fun. Uh, we got in the car and started driving back to Canada. Uh, we did the whole 15-hour drive in one day. That's that's how we roll. Uh, and uh, if you've ever driven through Alberta, Saskatchewan, that part of Canada, you have a lot of prairies that look like this, and then you start to come into the mountains, and you see the beautiful Crow's Nest Pass, uh, this is a particular note. It's called Frank Slide. About 100 years ago, uh, this whole section of the mountain slid down. It fell down. Incredible landslide. Completely buried the town of Frank. Uh, and, and lots of the people were never recovered. Uh, less than 100, but still a terrible accident. And, and here, 100 years later, you come and you can just see stones as far as you can look. By the way, I read a book on this. It's a really interesting story. Um, they... Uh, you know, there was, of course, a number of mines that got blocked. And so they wanted to rescue uh, the animals and reopen the mines. And so they started digging and digging and digging. And amazingly, about a month later, they were able to open up the passage to this one mine. And they found there was a donkey in there that was still alive. A month, and it survived. It must have found water. Very hungry. And so the people all had a big celebration. And they were all so happy that they kept giving the donkey food. And they gave the donkey so much food that he ended up dying from eating too much food. What an ironic statement, eh? Like, what a what an ironic story. Killed by kindness. It's also kind of cool. Look at this. As you're coming through, Alberta was all bright and sunny, and then you come to the Continental Divide, British Columbia. You see those clouds? 
it was like this big wave of clouds that went all the way across the province. So, you know, driving through the sun in Alberta, and then we get to BC and cloudy and some pretty sketch road conditions. But we were thankful to get home, and that's great news. Now, the first order of business when we got home was to secure French visas. So we immediately got onto a plane and we flew to San Francisco because you have to apply in person for these things. Um, and uh, we just did it in a one-day shot. Uh, again, it's scary. It's faith-based. You get all your documents. You get all your stuff. And you just hope that you've done it correctly. You know, sitting in that office, you can see folks coming for the first time and they maybe didn't take the instructions very seriously and they sit there looking dejected and hopeless because they realize that they missed one little document and now they're gonna have to fly all the way back it's a complicated thing but uh, we got out there and uh, we got it then we went uh, back out to the beach to start working on our beach house and of course we waited for the passports to come which they did uh, our daughter Amy who you might remember from previous videos was sitting uh, at home and so she went to the mail room and she got our passport and we waited to see if they put a stamp in it the moment of truth okay. will we get the visa So yes, in fact, we did get the stamp and we do have visas. In fact, they gave us a long visa a year. So we may be able to extend it. Very exciting. So we had a couple months to work and, and work we did. As you may know, as you may recall, we have a house at the beach. It's our only house in America. And uh, we rent it out for most of the year and it sort of pays for what we're doing in France. It's sort of, it's financial support, but we have to fix stuff up. And we noticed that there were some problems. Like as you take a look at this video, you can see that this fence has gone significantly wonky. There are huge winds in Newport, Oregon. In fact, our neighbor told us that uh, after one of the recent storms in January here, he had to go through his whole house and re-straighten all the picture frames because the wind had blown them. Also, we realized that one of our bridges in the back had fallen down. We need to replace it. So we've had, for quite some time, we had a great little bridge. We called it the Walker Bridge because our friends, uh, Rod and Linda Walker, built it one day when they were out here. And it uh, sadly, after a couple of years, broke. And so I've been working on the next bridge. And we're going to keep uh, the same, using the same treks for the top. That's the inside frame. We're going to have, a, um, we're going to double up some of those two by sixes. So we'll have five two by sixes going across. Going over this creek, got these nice, uh, we got these nice lateral pieces and horizontal pieces. We'll put them across and then we'll probably put two edge pieces down the middle. So we got it all leveled out, dug out, and hopefully this bridge will give us some uh, safe crossing for quite some time. Lots of fun. Look at this bridge. Look at it. Beautiful. So strong. Doesn't move at all. And there were other problems. Uh, the rust is incredible out at the beach. The, uh, the ocean is hard on fixtures. It's supposed to be black. Then look at this chain. <laughs> it's crumbling. In fact, the wire in places, the plastic coating broke off. So it's bare wire. We're gonna get that fixed. That started off as what we thought was bronze a bronze knocker for the beach. Okay, okay, we got this guy straightened out and we dug it out. Uh, it's probably not the right way to do it. I should probably chisel off that old base. But what I did is just put a, put a deep pier or a fairly deep pier next to it. And then I'll fill this whole thing up with concrete and uh, hopefully that'll hold it straight. I think it should put a little concrete on the other side too. So I just mixing up a little quick Crete in the uh in the old in the old wheelbarrow uh here in in newport it's about four four dollars fifty cents for a 60 pound bag so pretty cheap five bags 20 bucks and our last project is we're working towards building a garage in newport because someday we may need to store our furniture and so we actually uh, leslie found they were building a house and the guys were just hauling away the dirt and leslie asked them if they wanted to dump it on our yard and they said sure we got eight free uh, dump truck loads of dirt. 
Now, I don't know if you can see it in this picture, but it, the, originally at one point, there was a huge pile that went up part ways on that window. Uh, and so over the course of several weeks, I got the shovel out and I just started digging and we flattened it out. So lots of good times. And we saw lots of lots of hard work out at the beach. By the way, I know there's some folks, uh, it's kind of funny on YouTube. I know some folks uh, believe in ghosts and, and a lot of people don't believe in ghosts. I'm not really a ghost guy myself. But um, uh, a lot of times people, when you have a chateau, you know, see ghosts or, or believe that they've seen ghosts. And then other people in the comments will be like, stop, you know, don't, you know, don't talk about that. And so I know it's kind of controversial, but I will say, and again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, chasing ghosts, but I will say I took this picture of our beach house and take a look at this picture in the top right. Like, take a look, <laughs> like that room just has a bed and a dresser in it. And there's this weird black shape. Maybe it's just a camera thing, but that was like, I do not know what to make of that. Anyways, just for the fun of it, mystery. Why not, right? Why not? I don't know. Anyways, and I realize this this channel is about the Chateau. Uh, and so, you know, I don't want to bore you guys with other details of our life. But I will say that I've been trying to do a little exercise because, you know, uh, when we're in France, we always lose weight because we're walking around. It's really good. But when we come back to the States, we tend, at least I tend to gain it. And so I thought, well, I'm going to get out and try to do some exercise. Uh, had some success on the golf course. So if, if you're into golf and you want to watch, I'm going to put it after the exit credits and you can watch my little golf story for a couple minutes. Hey, thanks for joining with us. We are days away from going back to France, starting season four, and can't wait. Leslie's telling me I need to get a better camera so we can get higher quality video for you. And uh, we hope that you really enjoy it, and uh, we'd love you to come with us. It's going to be a good year. Okay, those are Canadian geese, but what we are is not in Canada. We are actually in the beautiful state of Oregon. And this is, I mean, it's winter but there's like a little tiny par three here in Portland. And uh, I took out a pass the other year. It's like, I think a hundred dollars for the winter. I mean, it always rains here and, uh, and it was great exercise. And so I thought, you know what? I want to come back to this place. Okay, I don't know if you guys are gonna believe this. Uh, and again, this is a very short course. I'm on the sixth hole, 59, 59 yards, very short, but a little bit tricky if you play golf, a little bit tricky. Uh, you hit her there uh, and bunker right in front of the hole right in front of the hole so i just hit a beauty and it popped right over that bunker landed in front of the pin and it bounced and i thought oh that looks like it's going right to it couldn't see if it went in or not i started walking i thought hmm that could have gone in and i'm a bit of an optimist i'm a bit of an optimist and sure enough i get to the bunker and i do not see the ball anywhere look in the pin there it is hole in one i know that's hard to believe it's only 59 yards i'm playing several balls so crazy I am going to attempt to recreate the shot. Here we go. Okay, so that wasn't great. That wasn't great. I uh, took a pretty big divot. Ball did not go as high as I would have liked, but let's go take a look and see if we can find that ball. Golf's such a wonderful sport. Just so relaxing. Basically a chance to be outdoors. Basically a chance, an excuse to be outdoors and walk around. And of course you get better the more you play. Not that I play a ton. Though, when I have a pass, I play this a lot. I'm cheap. Okay, so you see that would have been a hard for a two, but I'm telling you my first shot went right there. Crazy. <laughs> 